Research and innovation is a core part of the activity of the Institute. We have embedded research within all of the activities of the Institute and that means that research is an integral part of the activities of the schools and of the departments both at undergraduate and postgraduate level. Our philosophy is that the WIT is the intellectual and academic driver for the Southeast, but we position ourselves in relation to the international research community, in relation to what is international excellence, what is excellence at a national level. Our researchers are connected to that wider research community. Our students are connected to that wider research community. The Institute has a policy of clustering its research around the areas where it can have national and international leadership. WIT has three established applied research centres uh, in the area of communication services. The PMBRC, of relevance to pharmaceutical and molecular biotechnology, and also SEAM, which is the Southeast Applied Materials Centre. These centres have a direct remit um, to engage with companies, small and large, on a regional basis and on a national basis. WIT's capacity to enhance innovation within companies goes beyond just the technological research that's ongoing here in the Institute. Indeed, WIT School of Business has core competencies in areas such as marketing, branding, enterprise development, services innovation and has actively worked with companies on an individual basis and on a group basis. Part of the Institute's uh, long-term strategy for, for the development of, of research within the Institute and particularly for using that research to drive economic development has been the development of our West Campus which is called the Carrigan-Or Campus. And in this campus, our first investment was in the Arc Labs, which is a particularly interesting uh, development because what it does is it co-locates academic research with new startups and with innovation. So what we've done here is we've created an ecosystem which allows industry and academia to work together to share ideas, to um, transfer knowledge from the research directly into the companies. I think it's important that we demonstrate a significant output from the funding that goes into the academic environments. So what we can do is very tangibly demonstrate that with companies like Feed Henry and Zolxi. Both of those companies have taken software from our TSSG group and they've developed that software into commercially viable products and they're both um, very stable companies at the moment. A major policy in Europe is the concept of the innovation union. From this, Europe sees itself as promoting Europe as an innovation region and this is a very much in line with our own philosophy. We work with Irish companies to ensure that they are innovation leaders rather than followers. Funding for research from the EU programmes is particularly important to WIT. For example, in the academic year 2010-2011, over two-thirds of all the research funding in the institution was gained through these EU programmes. Well, our involvement spans right across the priorities that the European Commission has set. So we have major involvement in the Information Communications Technology programme, but we're also involved in areas such as health, environment, regions of knowledge, and also in other areas such as science and society, lifelong learning and training programmes. And the funding covers our PhD students, our postdoctoral researchers and our senior researchers and the equipment they'd need to carry out the research. Uh, WIT is first and foremost um, a higher education institution and these particular projects, these large EU projects, give our students unrivaled opportunities to connect with researchers overseas, with some of the top researchers in Europe. And it also gives them the opportunity to understand the world of industry, 
to understand why industry um, in, gets involved in these programmes in the first place and the kind of commercial opportunities that are available to them from the programmes. We are evaluated by international panels and each of those international panels have recognised the world leadership of our research here. For instance, in the Science Foundation Ireland Strategic Research Cluster, which we lead, and we are the only Institute of Technology leading such a cluster, the international panel of experts who came to evaluate our work declared that this is a world leading centre in its class.